This is one of the du'as that is mentioned in the Qur'an when the situation gets tough. When we have nowhere to turn to, we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu amrin dhibal, every matter of importance that you begin without remembering Allah, that matter shall be mutilated. It's going to be imperfect. Whenever we begin something of importance, we make dhikr of Allah. We ask Allah's <coughs> blessings and dua. And so this is a beautiful dua to memorize and to use before we undertake any major decision. Who said this and what was the impact of this dua? Surah Al-Kahf tells us there was a group of young men who embraced Islam at a time of paganism. This was in the time of Isa or after Isa. They embraced monotheism amongst a sea of paganism. And their people persecuted them. Their families expelled them. The powerful king wanted to execute them. Finding no refuge, they could not flee anywhere. The group of youth, they fled out to the mountains and they made this dua to Allah not knowing what to do. They didn't have money. They didn't have any place to go. They did not have any help in this world. So they made dua to Allah and they found a cave and they said, let us just rest here for a while. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered their dua because this dua is a dua that should be said when you are in difficult circumstances. It is a dua that is said when you're undertaking a journey, you don't know the consequences, when you're uncertain about your affairs, when you need Allah's help, situation is difficult and dire. And what does this dua translate as? These young men, they made a sincere plea to our Lord. Ya Rabb, Rabbana, our Rabb, Atina min ladunka rahma. We beg for you that you give us directly from yourself your rahmah. We want the special rahmah that is shown to the righteous people. Because rahmah means a soft compassion. Rahmah means to feel a sense of genuine care and concern. So we love Allah's rahmah. Life becomes easier with Allah's rahmah. The second phrase, وَهَيِّئْ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا رَشَدًا And oh Allah, guide us in our affairs to that which is good. We don't know what to do. We leave it to you. We don't know what to do, oh Allah. You prepare it for us. Hayyit lana. You prepare. You take care of. And make sure that our affairs become right. They are correct. Whatever happens, happens for our best interest. And so what was the response of this dua? These young men were not prophets. They were not angels, but their iman was so strong, they made this dua. And subhanallah, Allah Azza wa Jal gifted them with a miracle, even though they were not prophets. And that miracle was what? They went to sleep for 300 plus years. And they had no idea that when they woke up, the king had died, the dynasty had fizzled out, the people that were pagans had converted to the religion of Isa, Christianity, so they were not righteous. So Allah saved them through sleep. And they never understood because Allah Azza wa Jal takes care in ways they don't understand. This was the dua. Rabbana atina min ladunka rahma. O oh our Lord, we ask you mercy directly from yourself. وَهَيِّئْ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا رَشَدًا And we ask you that you make our affairs correct and rightly guided.